So let's take a look at our docking box in Bartrama. I think it's a really fun mini game, and it, in some ways it, it's slightly similar to how to how to land in High Fleet. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is approach a docking area and then come to a standstill. And there's two ways to to dock: the elegant way and the messy way. First, I'm going to show you the elegant way. What you want to do is come to a standstill. Now, if you're manual steering, it's going to be difficult to hit the exact spot to get your ship to stop. So if you click in the center of the route, then in theory you should come to a stop eventually. However, because of the currents in the ocean, your ship will almost never be completely still. So what you can do is you switch the autopilot, maintain position, just click on a point. Then it will stabilize itself. And once you turn it off, the drift will start again. Okay, so now here's the elegant method. What I'm going to do, I'm explaining this before because it's going to be a bit hectic. I'm going to click where I want to go, and, you, um, and it's going to create a line. And the longer the line, the, the faster ship attempts to go in that direction. And that's also, that vector is also a visual indication for you as the, as the captain. And what I'm going, going to do after that is, right after clicking that long line, going down that same line and shortening it to a really small amount. So I keep that uh, vector while I'm moving, going slower in that direction. Now the trick is here. You see the docking port is here. And the center of mass, so to speak, from the ship is over here. Or oh, the docking port of the ship is over here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to estimate the, the, the offset from that point to that point, And then imagine how it would look over here. So I'm going to aim slightly over here. First I'm engage, disengaging the pilot. Click here and shorten the line. I think I got it slightly wrong, but let's see what happens. I think I went slightly too far counterclockwise, a few degrees. See how it almost exactly comes into it. Now it slides along, and if I click now, I got a dock. Okay. Now if I would have not gotten the, the vector when I shortened it a bit a bit too far to the counterclockwise, I think it would have been a perfect dock. So I'm going to show you now the messy method. Now, since I'm already in that um, close proximity of the docking ring, notice here that that's um, those three lines. Those are interesting. They're going to help you to guide your docking of a ship. So that's why I call it the messy method. So first I'm going to go away a bit. Okay, now see I'm, I'm doing it slightly messy. I'm coming in too fast or something. So I'm going to go like this. Okay, I'm going to get so close until the, the guy shows up. Okay, now notice what happened just now. Notice that the beginning of the vector from the ship is above above the ship, and notice that line over here. It's a slide that will create some confusion if you if it suddenly snaps to this mode. What it basically does it it shows you which direction your ship has to drift, so you uh, so you directly smack the, the docking port, and it doesn't show you the direction you have to click. No, it sort of does if you're not drifting in. in Matters direction in in various directions. In let me let me say this again. If if you're in a complete standstill, and that guy shows up, then all you have to do is click along the line. You will drift directly to that point. Okay. Or if you're drifting, like let's say you have some drift in that direction, then you have to anticipate that your ship is, uh, ship is going to drift, so you have, then you have to um, offset your click to a certain other direction. If I now click to go here, it's going to drift in this direction because everything has a bit of lag. I'm going to miss the docking part. Okay, so I'm going back again. 
This is why I call it the messy method. Only if, you, if you're completely drifting, or um, well not drifting at all, then you can cleanly use it as a, as a guiding direction to where to click. But you see, I'm, if I'm going straight up, and it's max centered. Going down again. <clears throat> And again, notice here the, the center vector of the guiding point is over here. What you can do is hold left mouse really carefully, drag it. What it basically does, it indicates you where shift has to drift, where ship has to drift, not where you have to click. Okay, so you have to notice I'm, I'm holding left mouse right now. You can also use it with clicks, but I'm holding. Basically, I have to feel where you have to go with the mouse so the docking port remains on that line and approaching the approaching like this. Then it's going to guide you right into it. Okay, you hold it. Let's slow down a bit, but stay on the same. See? Basically, you're, you're massaging around that thing until. Closer, a bit closer. And we got a dock. Okay, let's do one more time, put a video. This is actually a fun minigame. Okay, now again. Holding left mouse and we're guiding it. Now notice it snaps up here, which is irritating at first. Now you have this mini game where you basically just feel how your mouse movements keep the your own docking port on the line. You know? Also, not don't go too fast. See, we go above that point. I'm going more in that direction again. And this is how you guide it in. 